Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at National College of Ireland. And uh, this short video, another video in our series of videos dealing with logarithms, uh, is going to present uh, a solution to a logarithmic equation. So it's going to deal with solving, solving logarithmic, logarithmic equations. Okay, and I suppose this is example. This is example three. Example, example three. Okay, and the equation that we'd like to solve is we'd like to solve, we'd like to solve uh, log, log of x squared plus 6 to the base 10, or let's say to the base 5, minus log of uh, x squared minus 1 to the base 5 uh, is, equal to, is equal to 1. So we'd like to solve this, okay? Uh, so I suppose what we have is this, is if this is equal to this, well then this implies, is that right? This implies... Uh, that log of x. Here's here we have the difference between two logarithms to the same base. So actually, we can convert this back into the quotient, yeah, into a quotient using the quotient rule. Uh, so this is log of x squared plus six divided by x squared minus one to the base five. Okay, and uh, must be must be equal to one. Okay. And um, now, by the definition of a logarithm, okay, if we have the log of some value. To a particular base is equal to a specific number. And what this is saying is that the base raised to this power here must be equal to this number here. So this implies that 5 to the power of 1 must be equal to x squared plus 6 over x squared minus 1, uh, which is 5. So multiplying across by this factor here, x squared minus 1, this gives us this implies that 5 times x squared minus 1 must be equal to x squared plus 6. Okay? And uh, multiplying through by the 5. This implies that 5x squared minus 5 is equal to x squared plus 6. Gathering all the terms on one side. Okay, maybe we bring these two terms. Actually, maybe what we do is we bring the x's over and we bring the constant terms over here. Okay, uh, so this becomes, this implies that, I suppose, well, this becomes 5x squared minus x squared is equal to 6 plus 5. Okay, uh, this implies that 4, that 4x four squared uh, is equal to is equal to 11 okay and what does this imply well this implies uh, that x squared uh, is equal to 11 11 over 4 okay and we can actually solve this okay this implies that x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 11 11 over 4 okay uh, so therefore we have oh, I suppose therefore we have that x is equal to plus or minus uh, the square well we can actually the square root of uh, 11 over 4 is the same as the square root of 11 divided by the square root of 4 the square root of 4 is equal to 2 so this is equal to the square root of 11 over over 2 okay uh, so x is either one of them so x is equal to the square root of 11 over 2 or x is equal to minus the square root of 11 over 2 now let's just be careful these are solutions to this particular to this particular Equation, logarithmic equation. Now we have positive and we have negative values here. Okay, so when you think about it here, so the, the positive values, uh, well, x squared is going to be positive plus six is still going to be positive. Okay, uh, and then in this particular situation here, we have um, x squared. The square of this is going to be positive uh, minus one. Okay, minus one. Uh, is going to be x squared minus one. It's it's still going to be in this case. It's going to be it's going to be it's going to be greater than it's going to be greater than one. Okay, uh, so we're actually we're actually okay in that particular instance as well. Okay, uh, because eleven the square root when we square minus eleven o minus the root of eleven over two we actually get. 11 over 4. Okay? 11 over 4 is greater than, it's actually 2 point something, minus 1 gives us still a positive number in here. Okay? Uh, so that's important here, is that we, let's just keep in mind that we can't get the, the, the log of the log of a negative number. So just keep keep that in mind there. And that's the only reason that I've just tested this particular, this particular negative value. Okay? Uh, so once again guys, uh, hopefully that this was in some way intuitive. Uh, my name is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at National College of Ireland. Uh, and thank you for watching this video. Okay, bye bye.